a camp geared towards the most talented little musicians in the country. And it's set in a beautiful lakeside community. Courtney, that all sounds very, very peaceful. Yes, it sure does. Can't you just picture it sitting outside overlooking the water while enjoying a string quartet play? I could picture that. <laughs> it sounds pretty nice. And you can do just that because through the rest of the week, some of the best child musicians, some of the best professional musicians are all playing at Innsbruck. And everyone's invited to these up-close and personal concerts. It's music and then music and then also some music. Welcome to the seventh season of the Innsbruck Institute Summer Academy and Music Festival. For a week every year we get together with some of the finest musicians of the world and make incredible music in this beautiful natural environment here at Innsbruck that is unlike any other location if in Missouri if not the United States. 61 aspiring musicians ages 12 to 21 have traveled from all over to be here at Innsbruck for this chance to learn from and play with some of the very best. The quality of music is some of the highest in the U.S., so it's, um, it's definitely a place that you want to come to learn music too. For just over a week, these student musicians eat, breathe, and sleep music. The students come here and they have eight days to prepare a complete chamber work, and they also take private lessons. And I think that they're often startled, amazed at how much they can get done, how much musical and personal growth they can have in just eight days' time. Innsbruck's 7,400 acres of towering trees, rolling hills, and 90 lakes are the perfect backdrop for this incredible music. This is a great place for the students to come in contact with the very thing that inspired so much of this music. It's also the perfect place for you to come and take in these beautiful sounds. We present a series of concerts that uh, run every night and oftentimes we'll have events during the day. And so there's a total of 13 different kinds of things for people to do. And you don't have to be an Innsbruck resident, actually. We, we strongly encourage people to come from the city. At these concerts, you have the chance to hear the future of classical music also the present. There's a lot of interaction between the musicians and the audience. Um, it's just a very intimate feeling and even people who are, who, you know, orchestral music is, is something that they haven't tried yet. Um, chamber music is a great introduction because it's so personal and it's right there and all of our, all of our concerts are constructed in a way that we have a classical concert but it might have a jazz feel or a tango feel or a bluegrass feel. So even if you're not a classical fan, there's things about our concerts that will get you into that kind of music. One thing is for sure, if you have a love for music and an appreciation of nature, this is one event you just can't miss. It's designed for everyone. There's not a single event that somebody that has never been to a concert before is, not, is uh, going to feel intimidated by. Innsbruck is located 45 minutes west of St. Louis. The 2007 Music Festival runs through Sunday, June 17th. Tickets are $16 Sunday through Thursday and $20 on Friday and Saturday. For more information or to get your tickets, call 636-928-3366. And Wendy, these concerts are put on by some of the biggest names in, in music. I bet it is going to be incredible. They sounded great. Yes, it's something I don't think people should miss. That's right. Thank you, Corey. trying to kill time, and the, hopefully the explanation will take longer than the act. So last year, maybe, last year, since it was my idea to have the talent show, I had to come up with something really amusing. <laughs> and my husband, fortunately, gave me the idea. He's a very precocious scholar, and he teaches, so he always has a videotape ready in case he's got something amazing to capture on television. He can use it in the classroom. So he pulled me in the room one day, and he said, you've got to see this. And it was... Um, the sport, it's a real sport, I've seen it in Parade Magazine too, competitive extreme irony. So my idea was to do interpretive extreme irony. And all year after last year's show, I thought, oh, what can I do to top that? And then finally it came to me, give the people what they want. More interpretive extreme <coughs> irony. <laughs> of a soundtrack and oh. I need to give this to Ryan. No. Don't worry, it's not gonna go on too long, so I don't have that much more. Ha, ha, ha.
Ha 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 ha!